Um, I feel like I'm just sitting here putting that mascara on mascara layer. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Des if you're new here and if you're not, hi. Hi again. Um, it's been a while. A lot has been going on. A lot of things have changed. I've been in a really rough spot. If you guys follow me on any other social medias or you've listened to my podcast, then you know what happened. And if you don't, then this video is going to give you all of the information. Um, it's like the afternoon now and I haven't had a chance to film this video because I was waiting for a big thing, like a big part of this video to come. Um, obviously it's a product because we're doing a get ready with me. Um, and the light is changing. Great. Great. Um, anyway, yeah, I've been going through some things, but anyway, I've been waiting for this. And so, you know, first of all, can we just talk about like how clean, chic, and just polished the packaging that everything that Jacqueline Hill puts out is just like, I want everything to be white and silver in my life. Um, but yeah, you guys I'm sure have seen it by now, but it's really pretty and that's, that's it. This isn't a review video. I'm not here to talk crap about Jacqueline or anything, so sorry. But I just thought that I would film like a get ready with me and just kind of let you guys know what's been going on and why I've been gone and how I didn't intend to be gone. It was just a very sudden thing. If you guys know what it is, then you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, then we're gonna find out. So let's just do the thing. Um, my children might be coming in because they're awake. Because like I said, I had to wait for this to get to my house. Um, and they're not napping, which is usually when I film, but what can you do, right? Some YouTubers have dogs that make appearances in their videos. I just have a lot of kids. But anyway, let's just get right into our get ready with me because I feel like it's going to be a long one. Let's do the thing. I guess I'm just going to start off with my base because I always start off with my base. I've put moisturizer on twice today because like I said, I was waiting for the UPS to bring my things. And then I had to go to the office and pick it up. Um, but anyway, I'm using e.l.f in light ivory with warm yellow undertones number 140 um, and it's this flawless satin foundation it's cheap which is the reason that i bought it and it's cruelty free so you know win 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 i don't really know how i feel about it so if i seem like a little off or kind of even manic in a sense um yeah I'm still trying to figure out my feelings and my state of mind. Um, so February, I need a mirror. Hang on, hang on, I'll be back. All right, so February 10th, um, I am trying to do this with makeup so I don't cry, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna cry. Um, my mom passed away extremely unexpectedly like when I say it was extremely unexpected um, I the day it happened I went over to her house and I left at like 1 30 to go pick up Amberlynn and at the time that it was like four o'clock I went to go pick up Matt and like at four 420 something around there um i got a call from my dad i usually would never answer calls because usually if it was anything it would be my mom calling me but something inside me told me like you need to answer this so call out what you will but i answered it and he said something along the lines of i don't think your mom's gonna make it and he was literally in tears and i immediately broke down because i was like what in what on earth do you mean like I just saw her like that's all I can remember thinking is like I had just seen her and now like you're telling me this and I'm like 
you're lying, you're lying. And so I, I hung up because he wouldn't answer my questions. It's like, what do you mean? Or what happened? And I think he was trying to kind of understand it himself. Um, so I call Matt and I'm literally screaming into the phone crying. I'm just losing it. Um, I call Matt and I say like through tears and screaming and yelling I'm I'm honestly having a mental breakdown in the car. I pretty much say my dad just called he said he doesn't think my mom's gonna make it and like you need to get out and you need to go and so I just remember that whole drive. And I'm screaming at Matt. I'm screaming in general. I'm screaming because I'm sad. I'm angry. I'm confused. I don't know what happened. And so, like, on the driveway, on the drive to my parents' house after Matt gets out of work and he calls my dad back, and Matt's actually the person that told me, like, she was gone because my dad told him when he called him back and I didn't want to believe it because like I said I had just seen my mom a couple hours ago there was nothing like wrong um she was fine when I left and none of this made sense and that is when like like life what is it? What does it mean? Really just like sends you into this existential life crisis and you don't know what like anything means anymore. Nothing makes sense because it truly did not make sense at all. The way that it happened, like the timing, like, you know, I wasn't given any time to prepare. Like I left her house and she was fine. And then three hours later, she's gone and like, my mom's gone forever, and, yeah, um, I don't know, if, I think I made a video about losing my grandmother last December, um, not, it's been a year, so is it a year, December, so I guess two Decembers ago, um, so basically, in the span of 14 months, I've seen the two people that, you know, raised me and stuff literally die before my eyes. Um, so that's traumatizing. Like, I don't want to be morbid about it. I don't want to, like, bring everybody down with my video because that's not like, why I'm filming this video. This is a life update. And I sound very cynical and just strange and off see i'm not making sense uh, i don't know what to say it's like i feel like the universe is trying to teach me something or i don't know what's going on but in the span of 14 months um yeah i was in the room as my grandmother was actively dying, which is what the nurse said as I walked into that ICU room, and I still remember the words, I still remember the sound of her voice. I still remember walking in there. I don't know. It messed me up. And then, like, a year and two months later, my mom just passes away randomly, and I walk into their house, and I see a white sheet, and she is laying underneath that white sheet, and nobody can tell me why and nobody can explain to me what happened and um i'm left there with just wondering like why and how and you know i'm not gonna get these answers um she wasn't sent to a medical examiner uh they just the sheriff was there when i got there and i knew that that meant probably something bad there was no amts it was just the sheriff and I walk into the living room and like the last image I have of my mother is a white sheet. Um, so that's, that was eye opening. Um, you know, life. 
I was watching Doctor Strange and it's the part where um, they're talking about how death gives life meaning and you know part of me wants to believe that but the other part of me is just like why does it happen the way it happens? It throws everything off and not like in a selfish way just like in a why in the world is this happening right now kind of way. I'm still kind of in denial and sometimes something that I've learned about grief is like it comes in waves and I am able to act really normal when I'm around like Matt and the girls because I know like I don't want Matt to think that I'm milking it and I don't want the girls to see me like completely have a breakdown because that's not good for them and I kind of have to keep pushing forward for everybody it feels like because I'm an only child so I have to kind of hold it together for my dad help him arrange funeral things like I kid you not like 2.5 seconds after we got there well not 2.5 seconds but like an hour victim services which are just people that come in and tell you like here have this pamphlet um how are you gonna pay for her to be buried or cremated or like where do you want to take the body because you can't keep it here type of thing um, so you know that happened and it was like nobody cares like sad part is like uh, it's the silence I think like the sense that I can never call my mom again like I can walk into their house like I used to but she's like not gonna come out of the room and that is just I don't know literally the only thing but the silence just really <sighs> and that's what I can say so that's why I've been gone I've been going through these motions over and over again and when I think I'm getting better it's still there and I realize that it's never gonna fully go away and I have to find a new normal but I'm trying to push for it. Anywho, let's get into this palette. So I'm gonna focus more on like the reds and the dark cranberries and stuff like that because I am a Um, anyway, on a lighter note, let's see, what can I talk about that isn't as depressing as death? Um, I think I'm going to go in with Perfectionist, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put that as like a transition shade. So... I've also, if you guys remember in my, in my resolutions video, I was like, I really, I forgot to clean my brush, didn't I? There's blue on my brush. I was talking about how in my resolutions video and on my podcast about how I really wanted to make my dreams of cosmetology school a reality. It's been five years since I've been trying to get into Aveda and pay off student loans and stuff, so this side's gonna have a little blue in it. Ignore it. Um, but it finally happened. I signed my contract and I'm an Aveda student. I start March 16th. That's my first day. I'm excited, but I also feel like I haven't really had a time to celebrate or be happy about it because I've had other things on my mind, clearly. Um, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do my brows. <sighs> it's okay. Um, I finally accomplished that. Um, and it was very sweet because I was super excited to tell my mom about it. But I can't. Um, I actually got in the day that she, the day after she passed away, like that's when I got the official, like you're in, come sign your contract email. And it was exciting, but I was kind of sad because I wasn't able to share that with her. But you know, we're getting through it. I'm gonna take this one, which is called Next. So, that happened. And I can finally start my 
dream career, I guess. Like I said, it's just very bittersweet for me, and I don't know if like I I should feel happy, if I should be excited. Like I'm excited to do it, obviously, and I'm happy that you know after five years of trying to get in and paying off student loan debt that we're in default and stuff like that, like that I finally did it, and I'm able to say like I'm here, I can do this. Um, but there's also like the utter sadness and just like feeling like I don't have anyone to share it with like whenever I see like a mother a mom and dad or a mother daughter duo I literally just I get kind of angry and I feel bad for feeling angry about it but I mean this is life and that it just makes me sad that I don't get to do these things with my mom type of thing. I'm going in with crazy. Which is just this one. Um, and I'm gonna put that in there too. Um, so. Yeah. I don't know if I'm excited. Like, I'm excited to go, but I don't know if I'm excited. Um, and it was something that I wanted to share with my mother. But, got accepted nonetheless and that is what is important because I finally am gonna accomplish those goals this looks crazy I really wanted to do something good and this just looks insane I can fix it so yep that's something that is exciting and that's happening soon and that I am like something that's happy finally. I'm gonna go with empowered and I think these are the pressed glitters if I'm not mistaken like ta ita Talia I don't know Talia looks like a real pressed glitter while empowered looks a little bit different I don't know I'm gonna go in with it anyway it might work better with like a wet brush, but you know. Oh, that's nice. This is with a dry brush, everyone. Like, just look at that. Uh, yeah. So, so I got like super distracted with that color. So just it's not picking up on camera of course it's not um but yeah that was an exciting thing that happened in the midst of all of the sad things that were going on i got into my dream cosmetology school which is, i'm gonna say i'm damn proud of it like i said i'm very like manic and sporadic in my thoughts right now so i'm sorry i'm actually gonna go in with next again and just do it underneath my lower lash line. I feel like some of these are pressed pigments, so you're gonna get some fallout in the actual palette, but like. If this is life. Um, there's worse things that could be happening. my life has just been consumed with feeling horrible and sad and missing my mom and I know like I'm not the first person to lose their mom and I know that there's other like sadder ways but the way that it happened for me was like there was no sickness there was nothing and like I just I left my parents house and I thought like I was gonna come back tomorrow and do it all over again and like I that didn't happen and like there was no car accident there was no explanation and I still don't have an explanation for it other than that is what the universe wanted that is how the cosmic shuffling of the deck happened and that is what we're doing today you know um, I'm gonna go back in with crazy with like a stiffer blending brush 
You know when you watch those makeup videos and there's dogs barking? And then you watch my makeup videos and there's kids yelling. Hi. Uh, I'm just gonna deepen that up a little bit. You know, like, I wanna be happy about things and I wanna feel excited about things, but it's been really hard. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, it's like I just keep repeating myself, but it's like, what am I going to do now? You know, like I have to find this new normalcy, 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 and just live life that way. I'm going to take this on a flat brush. I'm taking the empowered shade, the shimmery shade, just to kind of get a little bit more of a shimmery effect. I'm going to tap it on. I should have cut my crease. But you know what? We're in too deep. So I still don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes I still like just get stuck in my head and in my own thoughts and stuff. And it's like, what can we do, right? Life is gonna happen whether we want it to or not. And so I'm here to tell you like, just, Try to appreciate the people that you have when you have them because, you know, one day you're going to leave their house and they could be there one minute and then the next minute they're gone kind of thing, which, like, I had never thought about until, obviously, it happened to me. Um, but it's kind of hard to see any positives sometimes when it just feels like everything that's happening is happening to me instead of like just happening you know i'm also out of liquid eyeliner so i feel like this look could have used some eyeliner and like if i wore lashes and stuff that would have been good i have red i'm gonna take some concealer yeah I was gone because of all of that. Also, um, I just want to talk about like just the way that my sh my channel, the direction in which my channel will be going. Um, I want to post like cosmetology school vlogs and stuff like that, and kind of take you guys along for the experience. Um, so stay tuned for that. There's also going to be a lot more beauty related videos, just because I'm feeling really inspired to create looks and stuff and I just want to play with makeup and make art and stuff so and stuff does what are you 12 maybe who knows um yeah let's keep an eye out for that on with some mascara because I'm I'm I don't know what I did with my eyeshadow it makes me feel awkward I'm gonna take this elf mascara because it was three dollars and it works. I've been posting a lot more, or not more, but I have posted a couple things on TikTok. I want to use this palette to recreate an eye look that I had. One of my favorite bands put out an album, Monomania, by The Word Alive, and that color scheme gives me so many, like, inspirational ideas. I'm very inspired by it album artwork and I created a look for it and it's on TikTok but I want to create like a, a good makeup look and kind of film it for YouTube as well and I wanted to use the Jaclyn Hill palette when I filmed the other one I was just using like NYX and stuff it wasn't that good but I think with these eyeshadows I can create like a really good look with it. Um, I feel like I'm just sitting here putting that mascara upon mascara layer. Mm. But we're going to Disneyland. I booked our Disneyland trip for June, right around my mom's birthday. I don't know how I'm going to feel that day, um, but I booked it and yes, we will be going. I'm excited. I, I, we haven't really told the girls, but, you know, they're going to be excited. 
I'm gonna take this Forever Sun Kissed Elf Primer Infused Bronzer. Just add a little bit more color into my face because I look like Casper. Anyway, that is what has been happening. I'm excited about what's to come. I'm also still very shifty with my moods. I'm going to take this old grungy palette and use the blush because this is the blush that I have. I think I'm gonna film a vlog on my first day of school, so stay tuned for that. And I also want to film a couple more makeup videos because why not? I'm also excited about IGTV because I can finally edit properly in the right format with my Final Cut Pro, which is one of the reasons that I wanted to get it. For IGTV purposes, I know that there's ways to like manipulate iMovie and stuff like that, but I don't know. My eyebrow gel is down there, so I'm gonna grab that. It's like old. Probably doesn't even work anymore. If I'm being honest. Also, I'm gonna be f obviously vlogging our Disneyland vacation, but that's a couple months in advance but time is going faster these days i'm gonna take this highlighting palette i'm just gonna go in with my usual glowing highlight i'm surprised i made it through this video without crying because I didn't make it through my podcast episode without crying so progress right baby steps and now it's time for lips I'm gonna take my honeymoon morphe lip liner I'm gonna look for my mirror and we're gonna line our lips Here's our finished look. I don't know if I'm really loving the eyeshadow look that I created. Like the eyeshadow palette is fantastic. Like it looks gorgeous and like it blends nice. I don't have anything negative to say and I'm not being paid to like be happy about it. You know, like I'm not important enough. But you know, in case you thought I was, um, there's that. Um, so expect some more videos, expect some different content, expect all the fun things coming from here. Um, I don't plan on taking any more breaks unless, of course, you know, something else random happens. I'm going to pick you up because I'm scared. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat. Get ready with me. You guys enjoyed? If you guys like this makeup look, what do you guys think of the new palette? Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to go and edit this and hopefully have it out by this weekend. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not going anywhere. Fingers crossed nothing awkward or awful happens. Um, but yeah, see you guys. Bye.